A French invention of 1790, the first bicycle resembled a two-wheeled wooden horse without pedals or handlebars. In 1817, a German gave it direction control. The addition of pedals to the front wheels came from France in 1861. The British contributed as well, adding the large front wheel in 1870. By 1903, all countries participated in the first bicycle Tour de France. A bicycle is a beautiful piece of engineering. The frames are made of steel or a chromium molybdenum alloy known as chromalloy. Fabrication begins with these hollow tubes. The tube cutter cuts the steel before sending it to the bender. The bender curves the tubes cold, exerting strong pressure against the bending jig. The tubes must now be machined, that is, cut into lengths so that they correctly fit into one another. During this operation, cutting oil cools the tube. The tube is cut, taking into consideration the insertion angle of the other pieces. Tubes to be welded together are placed in this support. They insert a piece in an alloy of silver and bronze, which increases the strength and produces a better finish at the welding point. Welding now takes place. Welding of the frame requires about two minutes at a temperature of 800 degrees centigrade. Once welded, the part takes four minutes to cool. They proceed in the same way with all the tubes which form the frame of the bicycle. At this stage, it's important to straighten the frame which could have deformed during welding. They verify the alignment of the tubes and they straighten it out cold with a tool that sets it to the right dimensions. Now they're going to paint the frames. Paint is applied with a spray gun and adheres to the frame by static contact. Then the paint will be baked in a natural gas oven at 218 degrees for 15 minutes. The frame is now cooled and we can begin the assembly. The labels are now applied. In another department, an employee assembles the handlebars. He installs the mechanism for the brakes and the gears. Now we move on to the wheel rims. The 36 stainless steel spokes of each aluminum wheel are installed manually. The dexterity of these workers allows them to install spokes on 65 wheel rims in an hour. This spoke tool allows them to screw the spokes into the rim. This machine exerts a pressure on the spokes so that they'll have the desired tension. If there's too much or not enough tension, the rim will be crooked. This machine aligns the rims, essential for proper functioning of the bicycle. It automatically adjusts the spokes so that the wheel will be truly straight. Next step, placing of the tubes and the tires on the wheel rims. Set upside down, the bicycle circulates from one workshop to another where they will install the last mechanical parts. These accessories are not made here. The handlebars, the pedals, the fork, the brake, and chain mechanisms are all installed manually. Here they screw on the rear brake plate. Finally, they inspect each bicycle to make sure that the bolts are well tightened and that everything's working properly. Then it's on to packaging. This factory makes 2,500 bicycles each day, assembled from various tubes of chromalloy, 
Each one weighs about 11.4 kilos and will run for thousands of kilometers.